Uh, my name is Dr. Moses Koridiare, the president of Calvary Drama Ministries International. I want to specially welcome you to this beautiful YouTube channel where you have the opportunity of watching our movies. I'm talking about the whole movies and the very latest ones. <laughs> You're not only going to watch our normal conventional movies, you have other drama skits. Drama skits that will elevate your soul and that will bless your life. Outside that, we have seminars. Seminars on Bible, seminars on medical talks, different seminars that will be uploaded. Please, we want you to do three things before you leave. One, you will see subscribe icon written in red. Tap on that. Close to it is a bell that uh, once you tap, it will alert you of any new thing coming to this channel. Outside that, we want you to like it, to share it, to comment on it. You can also download it. This is the station below. The gods of the Bible is darkness. Hmm. While the gods of our fathers are lights. So now you are a son of the light. And you must dispel everything that has to do with darkness as far as you are concerned. The God with the letter G is the God of this world. He is the one operating in the lives of unbelievers. He's the one causing problems for people. He's, one, he's the one making Christians to backslide. The God of this world, he binds the eyes of people from seeing the glorious light of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus! Yes, the weapons of our warfare are not gonna but mighty to God. He will pull it down. Of the stronghold, we will not put down against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against power and against the rulers of darkness. Thank you, Jesus. that the enemies normally do to a glorious star. Nine things normally do to a glorious star. Number one, they may cover that star. To prevent that star from shining, they cover it up. Number two, they may delay the manifestation and the shining of the star. Delay. They delay it. That's number two. Number three, they may completely truncate that star. They may completely truncate the star. They may make it difficult and impossible for the career of the star to get born again. Because they know that once that child is not born again, once that child does not know Jesus, they will be able to penetrate and kill the child and destroy the child and also destroy the star. Number five. They may limit the manifestation of that star. You know, when the star is shining and it's supposed to get up there, and all that the star is operating is there, they've limited the manifestation. 
the person cannot get to full manifestation of what God designed him to get to in life. Number six, they may put the star in chains and shackles. Some, they will carry the star and put the star in the cage. Caged star. Number seven, this number seven is very serious. They may pick the star completely with the career of the star. The star, the career of the star, and throw such a star and the career of the star into the pit. And all that will be happening is that the individual will be operating at the level of the pit. The star cannot shine out of the pit. Remember what happened to Joseph in the book of Genesis chapter 37 verse 20 to 24 where the brothers carried him and threw him into the pit so that he will never, never amount to somebody, never, never shine. Our star will not perish in the pit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Still talking about um, the issue of the star. Some star may only be operating in the dream. They cause the star to be operating in the dream. And there are two dimensions to this. The first dimension is this. They may never allow the dream of the person to come to manifestation. Oh, I want my dream is to become a medical doctor. They turn into a farmer. A peasant farmer. Oh, my dream is to, to become whatever, big minister of God. They turn him to a drunkard. So they will never allow the dream of such an individual to come to full manifestation. That's aspect number one about what they do is to, 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 to dreams. Number two, which is also very, very bad, they may pick the individual star and make it operate only at the level of the dream. Everything that he does will be in the dream. If he's drink, if he's if he's if he's uh, if he's building a house, we build the house in the dream. If he's buying a car, in the dream. So I may even dream that they, they become the king of a very big town. At the end of the day, they wake up to find themselves to be to, to be wood fetchers. That's how terrible they can be. Another thing they do, they may make life very difficult, encouraging, devastating, painful for the career of the star. To the point that the career of the star will find it difficult to survive in life. In some, other, in some cases, they may break sicknesses and diseases upon the life of the career of the star. And most times, so sicknesses and diseases don't have, don't, don't, don't have solution. Don't have medical care. They make such a person to suffer both financially, sickness and diseases. And such a man, they, 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 they bring him to what we call wilderness experience. Terrible wilderness experience. At such a point, they make him feel as if God is so wicked. They make him feel as if all these long time prayers and fasting and the prayers of brothers and sisters, brethren, pray for him. They make him feel as if such prayers amount to nothing because he's in total wilderness experience. And in some cases, such a person will feel as if there is even no God. That is the situation of Juma. And I must tell you, that is the situation of so many children of God in the church of God today. The enemy, star killers, have done this. But why? I mean, why is the enemy doing this? This focus. This focus. <laughs> they want the person to lose focus. They want the career of that star to lose focus so that the person will give up. He will turn his back to Jesus and turn his back to the world and once they succeeded in making him to turn his back to Jesus and turn his back to the world they now attack him and kill him totally Juan's glorious star will not be destroyed under a watch in Jesus name Amen But my dear we need to pray 
we need to pray very seriously. Did God show you a woman in that revelation that claimed to be the elder sister of Tani Maho? God showed her to me. Did you see her too? Yes. God revealed her to me too. She was even talking to the demon. As a matter of fact, she was even encouraging the demon to kill her sister. That is human and spiritual forces fighting against Juan. That is the human and spiritual agent fighting against Tanimawu and Juan. And we must fight against them. And this fight must be a fight for when in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Ah, Baba. Kai. You are, you, are, you are wonderful. You are excellent. Your power is incomparable. I mean, I, I, I kept marvel at your, 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 your performance. You know what? My mom is healed. She is healed and hearty now. As a matter of fact, Baba. <laughs> we are being released from the hospital. We are discharged. Ah, Baba, we are back home. You are great. <laughs> very, down. very great. Ah. <laughs> I am very, very happy at the piece of information you are giving me. <laughs> you know, I told you that the gods of the Bible is powerless and fake. Whereas the gods of our fathers are powerful and original. I am very happy because um, you have now seen that the difference between the gods of our fathers and the gods of the Bible is clearer than crystal. Yes. Yes, Baba. I agree with you. <laughs> uh, by the way, who is this? Uh, I am the elder sister of his mother, Tani Mau. He told me of your exploits and land shaking miracles. He told me that with you, nothing is impossible. I actually came to express my profound gratitude for the great thing you did to my sister. I can't thank you enough. I mean, words of mouth are not adequate to express my profound gratitude. Thank you, Baba. I am grand still in the display of immeasurable power. <laughs> It is not me, Ganga. <laughs> it is with the help of my fathers, the gods of our fathers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, that, that, that means um, my cola will be plenty today. <laughs> I will be most grateful if I can see you alone. You want to see me alone? Let me take you to a place where the gods of my fathers will minister more powers to you. <laughs> Baba, yeah. did you say more power for me? Yes. yes. More power for me. I like it. Come, Come on, follow me. Take me there. Take me there. Take me there, Baba. I'll follow you. I like it. I like it. Akatapa, 
akatapa akatapa pa lo sha won won lode ojikutu o wa di oni ororo i ororo o di oni ororo i ororo o di oni ororo i ororo o di ajo ti abari ipa ko kunu so ta bari ipin mu anya ti abari ejika omo era o di ojo ti abari omo were leyin ejo lojo na oni aja o to gbo ti eyin re ojo se bi e po pupa ni musumu lojo ran na sugbon lati ojo ti ologun ni ti fi enu ba eje ni ologun ni o ti mu e po pupa mo lo ti mu eje ah kutelu ah kutelu ah kutelu kilo de to je ki igberu ko da po mo igbo se dudu ni akata re kilo de to dali awo e se ti o gbe gi oro kilo de to tu sile eni ti a de iwo gba gbe ni pe orun o gbe ke aye ni romo eni to ba si da ile yo ba le lo eni o ba da le yo ba le wu ija wa edakun edakun e je bure e je bure awu lu gbebe em se ri un o to be ke n gbe na wo ju ekun yin un o to be ke mo je yo nigbati e sa dakun se ri em un o fo yin un o fo un lo mu lo gin ni ko si no mi gbona un o se fe ko je pe mi won ba ti e wa ni ki eran oni woko kan ni ba se bi gbe temi ni ki la woko mi n wa ni bi ti won ti gbe gbe na gbe na un o to be un o to be dakun e dakun se won ni e wure to wole ti o ka go o deran amuso agutan to wole ti o ka go o deran amuso e dakun ya wa ije bere bere o se o se da wa o se ti o ko ba tu sile ki lo de ti o jade kuro ni hospital to pada sile ha ya wa ke se ma wo mu se nkan kan fun se se ri e se ma gbogbo re o e fe fowo lagba n loju ni se bi gbogbo re le ri gbogbo re le mo agbara kan be to si se o agbara bibeli ni won lu ton fi si ase pari se o emi ko mo se lo to mo ri ju won ton da da sugbon paito re paito dixon ati yawo re sade awon mejeji ni won fi adura si si ase pari ko ri aye re e mo yawa e mo ke se mi se bi mo ko fi epopon dagun ro re loju ni mo pe ntete fun mo pe afin ladun bi aran fun o tan o tan yawa oju ba nlo ko buru alaye re ti ye mi sugbon te si waju ninu ise re to ti bere lori re ma pe afin ni adun bi aran fun ko si ma fi epo pupa pon dagun ro loju ko pe ni tete fun Ah, ese o ya wa o ji se on ko ja be se ran mi e gbe le gbo okare you are very correct but you see scripture must be used to balance scripture a lot of times christians find themselves in trouble because they do not use scripture to balance scripture some are in sadness today some are defeated some are sick getting sick sicknesses that uh, tough to handle so my even the highly grief or because they refuse to use scripture to balance scripture there are two battles for every child of god to fight so battles the battle to stay and fight and win and the battle to run away and take cover and continue to fight where you run away to those are the two battles that we have battle to stay and fight 
and battle to run away and fight. Should the child of God run away for battle when all power in heaven and on earth has been given to us? Let's go back to the story of Jesus. I want you to read the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there, until I bring thee a word, for Herod will seek the young child to be to destroy him. him. <laughs> Look at the key word. And flee, run! To Egypt. There's a battle to run away from. Look at verse 14. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. They did not only run, they run under the cover of darkness. Many people don't be exposing themselves anyhow. Oh, well, Jesus is good for me. I say, I've just got a replay now, I've just got this, I've just got that. When God is not saying they should do it, they took, they ran away under the cover of the night. Look at verse 15. I was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I have called my son. They were there until Aaron passed on. They didn't say, well, let me go and fight the war. Let me go and fight the war. No, 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 no. You don't do that. There was battles to run away from. How about verse 16? Then Herod, when he was that, when he saw that was murdered of the wise men, was exceedingly wrought and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coast thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. My dear, can you see what happened here? Because of one star, one glorious star, many, many lives were destroyed. Because of one single star, millions of lives were destroyed. God has given you a star, a shining star. I'm talking to you that you are listening to me. God has given you a shining star. Please be protective of that shining star. Don't just assume, don't just split. Because the enemy can, because of one single star, destroy many, many, many lives. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And the Lord will give us the revelation of His word in Jesus' name. That is not all. Open the Bible to the book of John, chapter 7, verse 1. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry because the Jews sought to kill him. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, the powerful Jesus, the Almighty Jesus, ran away from the Jews. That's the truth. Check it. Read it again. He ran away from the Jews because the Jews were looking for a way of killing him. They are battles to run away from. Many people don't know this. But I want to tell you again that there are battles to stay and fight. Yes, you don't need to run away, you need to stay and fight. Because the Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this present world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. You must fight. There are battles that you don't ever run away from. You must stay and fight such battles. Not only fight them, you must stay, fight and win. Yes, you must win the battle. Just look at what happened in the Bible. When uh, Goliath encountered David, <laughs> very mighty Goliath, very strong Goliath, very courageous Goliath, when he encountered small David, 
David never chicken out. David never run. He stood and fought the battle. David killed Goliath. He didn't only kill Goliath, he cut off the head of Goliath. You will cut off, we will, we will cut off the Goliath, the head of the Goliath, of every permutation and calculations of the devilish ones against our souls and destiny and against the soul and destiny of the people we are pastoring in this church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Lord God will give us victory. Amen. We will cut off their head, cut off their heads in Jesus' name. Amen. Another example, you remember Elijah? Elijah in the Bible. <laughs> when the prophet of Baal, they gathered themselves together to fight against Elijah. Elijah never ran away. Elijah stood. And the story of Elijah was very, very interesting. If you look at it in 2 Second, Samuel Second chapter 18, he stood very, very, very interesting. He stood. He fought the war, not only fought, he won the war. He made a total caricature and a total mess of the prophet of Baal and Baal himself. Then as Christians, how do we differentiate the battle to stay and fight from the battle to run away and fight? Very good question. That's a very good question. How do we differentiate between the battle to stay and fight and win and the battle to run away, take cover, fight and win? Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. And when they were departed, Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there, until I bring thee a word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. In the Old Testament, God usually sent angels to people. But in the New Testament, the Holy Ghost is a, is a symbolism of, an, of angels. They are not the same, but the office of the angel in the Old Testament has been taken over by the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit now that dictates, speaks to children of God. <laughs> it's, the angel told him there, he said, until I bring you word. It is an instruction. So, until I bring you war, until God gives you a word, it is God that gives word. So that's the reason why it is good for you as a child of God to be born again and be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be telling you what to do, the battle to fight and the battle to run away from. The battle to fight and win and the, bat the battle to stay and fight and win and the battle to run away from. The Holy Spirit will dictate what to do to you. But I must add this in addition to the message of the Holy Ghost to you. I must add this. Any battle that compromises your life, your health, your finances, and God gives you a way of escape. That is the battle to run away from. Don't say, well, I'm a strong Christian. God has given me a way of escape. Well, I'm a strong Christian. I will wear it and fight this battle. That battle will eventually consume you and destroy you. I pray that we will not be consumed. We will not be destroyed in mm. Jesus' name. Amen. There are battles to wait and fight, to stay and fight, and there are battles to run away from and fight after you have taken cover. God bless you. <sighs> I wonder why you have not succeeded in killing your sister, Sani ah. Despite my efforts, your efforts and Kurukuta's efforts of killing her, she left the hospital very strong. She appeared as if nothing has happened to her. 
My sister is a Christian, but not a strong one. Have you forgotten what made her vulnerable to our attack in the first place? Forgotten? No. I've not forgotten. Just before I saw Juan, went for an interview. This is our statistics. Prayers, 3 over 10. Fasting, 2 over 10. Evangelism, 1 over 10. Tight pain, 6 over 10. Bible reading, 3 over 10. And faith, 0 over 10. 0 over 10. My sister is full of spiritual activities with zero faith. She has forgotten that without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. She is suffering from a lack of faith. But what about zeal for the things of God? Zeal? Zeal. As zeal is then ten. Azil is 100%, but not according to knowledge. Zeal without knowledge. Great zeal without faith is a destructive zeal. The only thing sustaining her, the only thing keeping her, is the fight and prayers of her pastor against us. We have achieved one great thing. Juan, our son, has completely lost faith in the God of the Bible. He has completely accepted another God. But what's the next line of action now? Like you rightly observed, my sister is a very lukewarm Christian. As it is written in Revelation 3.15, that lukewarm Christians don't have capacity to fight. And our pastor's wife and the pastor that have capacity to fight will not be with us here tonight. They will sleep in their own house. Today is our end. <laughs> See if your sister is coming to please me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Who is marvelous? Jesus. Who is powerful? Jesus. Who is the King of kings and the Lord of lords? He is the God of the Bible. Now let's thank God. For the Lord has healed my sister. Oh, In Jesus' name. Thank you. Father, we thank you. For healing my sister. Hallelujah. Thank you for you are the Lord that healed me. My dear, the battle we are fighting against the enemies of the soul of Duan is a battle that must be won. It's a battle that must be fought and won in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this present world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. We are going to pray. Listen to me. Look at me, my dear. There are strata of oppression. There are levels of oppression. There are, we have stratification even in the spirit. Stratification in the spirit. We have principality is a level. Powers is a level. Spiritual wickedness in high places is a level. And the rulers of the darkness of this world is a level. So what did I say? What are, what did I say? What, what, what are the things we are fighting against? We have principalities. We have powers. We have rulers of darkness of this present world. And we have spiritual wickedness in high places. In other words, we are fighting against strata levels. So if your target, if you are praying and you are fighting and you are just targeting principalities, whereas the forces fighting against that individual are powers, you are not attacking rightly. 
You are not fighting rightly. You are not fighting correctly. Can you remember blind Bartimaeus? When he was calling, Jesus said, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. That was what he was calling. But Jesus wants us to be specific. And he said, what do you what? want? What do you want me to do for you? And he mentioned what he wants. So I'm going to pray this way. We don't know the level that is operating in this man's life. But we want to be specific. That aspect, that those witches, those powers, those darkness that may be fighting against him will come against the activities right now and the life of Tanima Wo and the life of a Duan. In the name of Jesus, can I pray us in Jesus' name? In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. We don't know which of these powers that is fighting, but with any of them fighting this family, we pull down, 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 we pull down. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh yeah, pull down now. We pull you down in Jesus' name. Every agent fighting, fighting against this family. We come against you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Aunt Timmy. I really appreciate the grace of God upon your life. I pray that the anointing of God upon your life will never run dry in Jesus' name. Amen. By the way, where is Joe? I don't know where he has left to. Atimi, you need to be praying for Joe. He, he, he has backslidden. As a matter of fact, he has turned his back against the God of the Bible. Don't worry. He will soon turn his foot to the God of the Bible. I'll be still with you tonight. We'll be observing a bit tonight. And every yoke of the devil shall be broken. Amen. Thank you so much, Antony. I really appreciate this. Have you all persuaded my friend? She too will be still with us tonight. She will go back to her place tomorrow morning. Ah, Antony, you are the best. You have made my day. In fact, it's as if you should just stay with me till eternity. <laughs> Thank you, Antony. Dad. I'm tired and confused. Nothing seems to be working for me at all. As a matter of fact, everything is working against me. Sheyi, what made you to arrive at that very unfortunate conclusion? None of the dreams I had has come to fruition. Please sit down. My dreams are like piles in the air. Coupled with this glorious dream that has not come to pass, coupled with that, a series, dozens of frightening ones. Now listen to this. Is it that I see myself being pulled down from the high pedestal of glory? Sometimes the ladder of glory will be taken away. Not only that, a bit of destruction is being dubbed. Now, occasionally, Fearful looking masquerades and down to earth demons will be pursuing me ceaselessly. Sir, at this moment, I'm at the verge of giving up. <clears throat> Say ye, don't give up. You have come too far in the Lord to give up. This is not the time to give up. Keep on digging and digging and digging in righteousness, you will soon hit plenty of water. Nonetheless, let me tell you a few things about dream. I'm only, sir. You can go ahead. You see, there are three categories of dream. Number one, dreams that comes from the human mind. Number two, dreams that comes from the devil. Number three, dreams that comes from God himself. Let's look at the dream that comes from the human mind. This type of dream emanates from the psychology of humanity. It comes from the thought process of a man. What that means is this. If, for example, you are very hungry before you go to bed, you are most likely to dream about you eating fried rice and chicken. That's the first category of dream. The second category of dream 
is the dream that comes from the devil. This type of dream, the devil tries to get you discouraged. The aim of the devil in that type of dream is to make sure that he completely destroys you. So any dream that comes from the devil is a dream of destruction. It is a destructive dream. To get you discouraged, to get you lose hope in life, and not to allow you to, to become anything what it in life. So that's category number two of them. Then the, the third category of dream is the dream that comes from God. This type of dream, God will warn you of an impending danger. Maybe there's a danger coming. God may warn you. God can also open your eyes to the nefarious activities of the devil against your life. He may, he, God opens your eyes and warns you against the activity of the enemy against your life. Now, God may also uh, show you a dream of about the church of God, about an individual, about a brother, and even about the society, about the country, about the whole world. God may reveal to you in the dream. And God will tell you the action to be taken. That is the dream that comes from God. The cross of the matter is this. Hmm. If you dream and you remember the dream, you are blessed of God. Majority of people dream but they never remember the dream, especially if the dream will do them good. The truth is this, many people don't know the importance of dream. Many don't know the importance of dream. Nothing happens to a man in the physical, especially a Christian, that God will not reveal to him in the dream or reveal to somebody stronger than him in the dream. The devil will do everything possible to prevent you to remember the dream that will make your life good. <laughs> My take is this. One, pray that God will remind you of your dream. Because like I told you, some people dream, they forget their dreams. That's number one. Number two, pray for the interpretation of the dream. What is God saying? You're a child of God. What is God telling me? What is God saying in this dream? We need to pray for God to grant us the interpretation of the dream. Number three, cancel and crush every dream that will not do your life good. Number four, you need to visit your pastor like you have done now to help you in the issue of dream. Or you visit somebody that's a child of God that God is leading you to. Now you listen. A new convert that God is leading you to may be more effective in interpreting the dream to you than a Jew. I know that the Lord God himself will bring your dreams to actualization in Jesus' name. Amen. Those glorious dreams will come to pass. Amen. You will not end your journey in, 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 in dream, in the dream world alone. It will come to manifestation. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
actually happening, Antony? You kept following me closely everywhere I go. I don't understand your action for the past 15 minutes. What is the time now? What, what has that got to do with what is going on here? Now tell me, you are beginning to create a sense of fear in me. What is happening? You should stop it. I won't stop. Or oh, don't you know that Aronio Sinle only ko you see me open. Kafi yon gon son yon gon lo da yon gon la. Aronio Sinle only ko you see me open. Kafi yon gon son yon gon lo 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 da yon gon la. That's exactly what I said. Aronio Gwale only ko you see me open. Kafi yon gon son yon gon lo da yon gon la. Meaning that your supporter and your deliverer, they are not here now. Your pastor and his wife are not here now. I am Onikoyi Tiko Simiobo. I will not rest. I will not give up on you. Who are you? I am Pastor Dixon Anoluapo, and this is my wife, Shade Anoluapo. We are the children of the Most High God. We are the children of the God of the Bible, and we have come here to fight you in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will know me. You will know me. Eh? You have the God, the temerity, the pomposity, the rascality, the mentality to kill my dad, my dad. <laughs> 